Hey guys, we're just getting started on this 1980s farmhouse renovation. One of the first tasks that we're taking on is replacing the old aluminum windows with new, more efficient Marvin Elevate windows. We've got some great tips and tricks that we're going to implement today. So come join me and we'll dive into some of the details. Looking at the existing windows, there's a few reasons why we're going to replace these. You can see that there's condensation building up in between the window panes, which tells me that the seals have failed and the argon gas has escaped. The second reason is that these windows are really poor performers to begin with. And the third reason is, is they were not installed correctly to be properly air sealed and waterproofed. The first thing that I see is that they set the windows directly on the house sheeting and they did not apply any sealant at all. So this is a great spot for air to get behind the window flange and leak into the house. That also will pull moisture. The second and more important issue that I see is the way that they lap their house wrap over the flange. If you look down here at the bottom of the window, this paper is sitting over the flange. It should be underneath the flange. So what can happen in this situation is if water penetrates into the trim or the siding, it'll want to run down and it'll get right behind the paper. To properly do this, the bottom course of house wrap should be installed before the window and wrap into the sill. That way when water gets behind the siding or trim, it'll roll down and not get behind the house wrap. To remove the existing windows, the first thing that we're going to do is run our skill saw around the window to expose the window flange. Then we're going to pull the siding, pull the nails, and pull the window. To prep our window openings, we're using the Prosoco Fast Flash. It's a really great product for doing retrofits like we're doing when you have products like tar paper for the house wrap, which can be difficult to bond to with a traditional peel and stick. So what we're doing is we're making sure the openings are free of debris and then we're applying a really liberal bead of this Prosoco and then we're going to tool it in. Uh, we want to make sure that the sill has a slope to it. Once the Prosoco is applied, we're going to spray it down with a little bit of water which is going to help set it off so that we can get these windows installed in a couple of hours. Once the Prosoco has had some time to dry, we're going to apply a bead of Prosoco Air Dam sealant on three sides, not the bottom. And then I'm going to use these blue horseshoe wedges to create a gap at the bottom so that the sill can drain if water is ever sitting there. Now that we have the windows installed, we're going to work on the last bit of flashing details. These are the real crucial details that you don't want to mess up. So what we've done here is we've added a piece of peel and stick. This is Henry's Forta Flash 365. So this stuff is good to be exposed for 365 days. Really great product. What we're doing here is we're creating a little apron for the window to drain. So we've peeled the top part of this stuff and bonded it to the flange, but we left the backing on the lower part of the tape. So that way it doesn't bond to the house wrap. What this is doing is, is allowing a gap so if the water ever pools underneath the window, it has a place to escape. So this little blue horseshoe wedge creates a little gap there for water to weep out. When we go ahead and put the trim on, this piece will protect if there's any wind-driven rain that gets underneath the sill. It'll keep it from driving up and underneath the window and it'll allow it to drain out onto the house wrap. We really wanted to replace these windows, but not replace the siding. So we were able to accommodate that by adding trim to the windows. We ended up making two cuts on the siding. The first cut is here, and the second cut is here. The first cut we made with the short side of the skill saw. And the second cut we made with the wider side of the skill saw. The way these skill saws are set up is it's exactly three and a half inches from the side of the tray to the blade, which sets you up perfectly for a five quarter by four trim board. The first cut we made to get the old window out, I wasn't really too concerned about nicking the tar paper. On this second cut for the window trim, it's really pertinent that this tar paper stays intact. So what I did was first make a shallow pass with the skill saw. As you can see, the siding is still intact. And then to finish the cut so that I don't damage that house wrap, I'm going to take this composite shim, slide it behind the piece of siding, and finish the cut with this oscillating tool. 
as you can see, house wrap is intact. Now to finish this, we're gonna roll this all with Prosoco. This window will be airtight, watertight.